Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a glowing border for the elements in your website. So here you can see we have this card over here and when I hover over this, we have this glowing border. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this effect to the elements in your website. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called glowing border and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's create the necessary files. So let's click on new file and we'll just create an HTML file. So I'll just name it index.html and now let's create a CSS file. So let's click on new file and I'll just name this style.css. Alright let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. Right now let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here in the HTML I'll just type style.css. Now the HTML is pretty simple. I'll just create a simple division. So let's create a division with a class of glowing card. And here I'll just create an S3 and here I'll just type welcome. And now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you install this, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now we can see that our design is displayed over here in the browser. Right now let's go to our CSS and let's start styling this. Right now here we will target the glowing card. And let's set the width to 300 pixels. And let's set the height to 400 pixels. And let's set the background color to black. And now let's bring this to the center. So I'll just type margin and 30 pixels for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And uh, let's set the color of all the text to white. And let's set the font family to Roboto. And let's bring this text to the center. So for that I'll just type display of flex. And let's type align items to the center and justify content to the center. And now let's set the font size of the S3 inside the glowing card. So let's type glowing card S3 and let's set the font size to 30 pixels. Now the next thing we will do is add this glowing effect. Now by default when we don't hover over this we can see that we have a little bit of blur over here on the sides. So let's go ahead and use an after selector for that. So let's type glowing card colon colon after and let me just explain to you what is an after element. So let's type content and here if we just type one two three we can see that we have one, two, three written over here. So after element can add extra elements to the elements in your website. So let's remove this one, two, three from here. And we want to add the glowing effect. Now we want to position this after element relative to this glowing card. So for that here you have to type position relative. And now here we can type position absolute. And let's set a height of 90% of the glowing card. And let's set the width to 90% of the glowing card. And let's set a background color. And let's set it to a linear gradient. So I'll just type linear gradient. And for the first color, I'll just type red. And for the second color, I'll just type blue. And now we can see we have this after element displayed over here. Now we want this after element to be behind this uh, glowing card. So for that, you have to type Z index and set it to a negative value. So I'll just type negative one. And now we can see that the after element is behind this glowing card. Now let's add a blur effect. So let's type filter and uh, I just type blur. And let's set the blur to 20 pixels. And now we can set the positions of left and top. So let's type top and let's set the top position to 11 pixels. And now we can see a little bit of red displayed over here. And let's set the left position and let's set it to 13 pixels. You can go ahead and experiment with these values. Right now let's add the hover effect. So for that let's type glowing card colon hover colon colon after. And when we hover over the element we want to set the height to something greater than 100%. So let's type 103% and let's set the width to 102%. And now let's hover over this element. And now we can see we have the glowing effect displayed over here. We'll also set the left and the top positions. So let's type top and we'll just set it to zero and left to zero. And now if you hover over this, we can see we have this glowing effect. And let's also add a transition so that we have smooth animation. So here I'll just type transition and I'll just set all to 500 milliseconds ease. 
and now let's hover over this and we can see we have this glowing border so that's basically how you add glowing border to the elements in your website now you can go ahead and add any content over here inside this glowing card and just go ahead and play with these values a little bit you can just change the top and the left values over here depending on the element to which you are adding this effect so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day